Hello, welcome to this After Effects tutorial. Now today I'm going to be showing you how to do motion tracking. Now motion tracking is fairly easy, it doesn't really require you any skill. All you just really need to do is just you just need really any skill you just really need for this is just to remember what to do. How to do it. So first of all I'm going to start dragging in my page. And it's importing. Okay, so I've got my footage here. I'm just gonna drag it out to that bit to make a new combustion. I'm not sure. I think I'm sure the button does have a name. I'm not too being too precise here, but it does have some name. So I've got my footage here, and say I want you to put a picture of something there like for example I'll just try and find a picture of something like okay say I wanted a Facebook logo sitting oopsies sorry about that right no right forever alone face okay let's do that right so say I worked forever alone face sitting on this road, but since I'm my the camera is moving about, I'm going to have trouble trying to get it staying to stay in the place to make it look like it's in the shot. So first of all, what we do is we go to Layer, New, Null Object. Um, I'm good. You'll, I'll explain what that this is what that's for um later on in this video. And and then I just get my forever alone picture. So what you wanna do you just wanna put it in whatever you want nearly. I'll just have it sitting here or whatever. I mean you can colour correct these things and add shadows underneath it. Right, say on the pavement, okay. You can colour correct and add shadows and stuff to make it look realistic. But I'm just gonna do that. So now, what you want to do, you want to motion, this is where the motion tracking comes in. So, you, if you don't have the motion tracking window here at the side, which I don't, that's why you want to go to Window Tracker. And you've got this here, you want to click Track Motion. And you'll have one point here. Um, so, what you want to do, you want to, this is tracking the motion, so you want to find a bit in the video where it stands out, like say that bit for example, um, that bit stands out with that background, I'm, I think I'll do this car bit here, because um, I've just thought, because I mean, that's a brighter colour than that, well, it works. I've tried tracking footage, stuff like that before and it's worked. And then anyway you want to go to take the rotation bit here and then put the um the box here. Okay, so that so we've got that bit there. I'm just gonna zoom out a bit. So we've got that there. And then what you wanna do, this is important or it's not gonna work. Um, the whole motion tracking thing, like when you get the thing to look like it's in the scene. Make sure your null is selected. Apply motion to null 1. So this will also apply the motion to it and then that'll, and then you attach it to your object and that will make it move. I'll see you later on. So you want to click analyze forward. And as you can see that's making pretty good job of that. If it um, goes off a bit, it shouldn't be too big of a deal, but if you're like trying to make this like a big professional movie looking movie or something, then you know, you might want to go back and change it. So, um, I'll continue this tutorial once it's finished doing the motion tracking. Okay, so it appears we have encountered a problem. Um, so the motion trackers have went way off path 
as you can see there, I'll zoom in to show you because all the keyframe thing is run away. But as you can see, that's went way off track. That is just like that. If like that, something like that happens, that just won't do. So when you're basically you're just gonna have to do select other points or refilm the footage. But no, um, there is like right. Okay, up to here seems to be successful, right? And I'm just gonna right. I can't see the apply bit here, so I'm just gonna drag my tracker window here. Click apply dimensions X and Y. Okay, so I've got that there. Now, so what I'm going to write when now I said that the track was successful up to a certain point, didn't I? I think it was about here or so. And I, I'm just going to select all of this by holding down control. Oh, that was already selected. And then I'm going to click, I'm going to press Alt, right bracket, and then that's what happened. So, um, I've only got a short bit with the motion tracking um, did correctly, but, you know, I'm not really going to try again for the purposes of these t this tutorial. I'm just going to reset my workspace to standard now. Um, reset it because I don't need the motion tracking window anymore and yeah so once it, right at the start of the footage I've got um, my figure thingy or whatever it is um, you want so now what you do now this is where the bit where you're like where you're thinking so how do you make it move with the footage well and you go to here and make the patent null one and then hopefully, if it's a good track, it will follow the footage. See that? That's pretty good. I wouldn't say it was the best. It turned out quite good for that bit of the clip. And that's basically how you do it. Um, that's turned out quite good and if you were rendering this you would kind of want to trim the comp to your workspace by dragging this bit but I'm not going to really go over that and then to render it you just go to composition uh, to render queue and then the render queue window should pop up and if you want to um, render or like well some people call it render some people call it save but save it with audio you want to tick, tick that, like OK, and then you've got other settings here about the quality and stuff like that. I'm not going to go too in detail, into too much detail. And here it's just you select the location where you save it and the name. I'm not really going to save this because this is just a tutorial. So, but um, yeah, that's how you do motion tracking. Um, if you if you find this video helpful please subscribe for more and um, if you've got any questions just ask and I'll try my best to answer them and that's all for this video thanks for watching